one. Good morning, hi, welcome to University College Birmingham, the bakery department. You'll see this is our, our bakery suite along this corridor. Um, I'm Richard Wood, I'm uh, uh, one of the lecturers on uh, the course. I've been for quite some time since its inception. And uh, on the camera, who you'll meet later on or during the presentation today, is Graham Duckworth, who is presently our, your level five year manager, but he's on the camera today. So we'll walk this way. Just on my left, you'll see some examples of, of sugar craft work and some of the trophies that we've won. Uh, it's just a display cabinet that we've got various sort of student uh, bits of work that are very pleasant to see and show how good we are. There's um, a lovely picture there from a presentation after an ABST um, um, competition with all the trophies that we've won there. Okay. So we'll now go into one of our uh, fermented products bakeries. I won't be washing my hands as we're not doing production at the moment, so I just thought I'd say that. Oh, you've just heard Graham's pan the camera around the room. You, you would have seen we've got a lot of industry standard equipment, such as pastry brakes, spiral mixers, um, spiral mixers which fit on benches, small spiral mixers. Uh, behind me here is just some of the examples of the, uh, the artisan bread equipment that we've got for when you do your artisan bread course at level four. We have the uh, planche couche, which is the baguette lifting board, we've got uh, baker's linen, I'll just move across this way, uh, we buy commercial quality yeast, we've got balatons, we use, uh, we have a miller, we have supplied by Haygate of Northampton, so the flour comes in 16 kilogram bags, and that's just an example of a, a sourdough starter or mother dough or chef, whichever tr um, terminology you use, that we've currently got on the go now. Uh, behind me is uh, a bank of two um, blast freezers, blast chillers for bakery, designed for bakery goods. And you can see that. That goes on to fast freeze or blast chill. So we have the opportunity to teach blast chilling, blast freezing. So we'll now go through into the oven and proving room. Yeah. So first on the left we've got what is known as a retard approver. These, as most professionally professional bakery works, works on a system of racks and trays. Um, within these machines uh, we can chill down or retard to minus two, but with a very uh, moist atmosphere rather than your fridge at home, which is a dry atmosphere, and then they automatically turn over to become a prover, which is about 35 degrees and about 75% relative to the humidity, perfect for your bread to rise or prove, as we say. Um, here we've got one of our deck sets of deck ovens. This is a peel oven, as you can see. Um, to work on this oven, we have to use a peel and just with a, a little um, brioche tet tin there, we would work with the peel, load the oven, put the peel down and then shut the oven door and then we could put the steam in. Are you ready? Very dramatic, like dry ice, heavy rock, heavy, heavy rock gear, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, um, behind my right hand, you'll see industrial donut fryer, which takes um, wires of donuts, about 30 donuts per drop into the oil, and also uh, the machine uh, on the end of the metal cabinet there is an automatic sourdough. Um, tank if you like which can keep sourdoughs and cultures uh, at the required temperature and stir them continuously so we can maintain the correct culture in the correct condition of 
sourdough starter, if you like. Um, here we have a, a rack oven. Here we have a rack oven, and as you see, we can open the door. And the idea of the rack oven. we can bake an entire rack of product in one go. Uh, I've got no program here, so I can't push it. Uh, okay, so let's let's put a let's put a bake recipe in. Let's just for for um, argument's sake, anything that will do, and then we'll just push start, and then you can see the product spinning around in the rack oven. Okay, let's just stop that. Just leave that like that for time in. Okay, as we come into this room, this is our second Reg of Fermented uh, Goods Bakery. Uh, very similar equipment to the other bakery. We've got a Bundivine Moulder, um, which will mould 30 separate runs or rolls. We have, and we're very lucky to have this as well, this is a small Chorley Wood Bread Process Mixer. Now it's high speed, it runs on the amount of energy that can be imparted into a dough, and it also has the facility to put over pressure, if you like to pump in oxygen, and then vacuum pull it out the oxygen. When you do level five bread, or when you do bakery science, you will learn what effects that has on the bread. Okay. Over here, um, in most of our rooms, we have pastry breaks. So rather than using rolling pins to roll your little bit of pastry out, what we would be doing is putting dough on to the pastry break, and lowering the rollers, putting it back through the other way, very industry standard piece of equipment, but we've got at least about four pastry breaks. Okay, into this um, corner, this is quite industrial. We don't train you as such to be an industrial baker, but part of your learning about process control and professional bakery is understanding how the, how the, the food manufacturer side of bakery works. So we have a, uh, a bread divider, so you would load dough into the hopper. It can be uh, volumatically divided to the right weight. It can travel through an intermediate prover, and then it can come down into a bread molder. Sorry? Yeah, uh, and we have, have perfect loaves out the other end. We also have a French stick molder. Uh, let's walk through to the patisserie molder. Uh, Okay, so uh, Graham's just panned the camera around one of our patisserie kitchens. You've seen the uh, small pastry break, you've seen the Tom Chami deck oven. Um, we have small Hobart mixers, those of you that uh, do home baking and you have to a stand mixer. These are sort of the professional version of the type of stuff you'll get at home. Those were about £4,000 each, I believe. You'll see we have uh, overhead projectors. Um, so that can be linked up from a, a, uh, a laptop and um, our lecturers can demonstrate the skills and processes with them being on the white board behind them. This is a, a marble fronted or a granite fronted um, slab and on the end of each um, bench we've got marble slabs for you to do your pastry, sugar or chocolate work. 